Today, the Efanita Smith Tavern is just one of the many buildings that occupy the 21 acres of land the Smithtown Historical Society owns off Middle Country Road in the village of the branch. The tavern plays an integral part in the historical programming that the Smithtown Historical Society runs for school children from all over Long Island. The living history program we offer, called The Day in the Life of an 18th Century Innkeeper, remains our most popular program because of its setting in the historic tavern. To give you some appreciation for our living history programs, we have an opportunity to join a class in progress as it experiences a day in the life of a colonial innkeeper. The tavern program is to introduce to the children what it was like to travel in the 1700s. The tavern was a place that you would come if you were traveling. Of course, today they come by bus. Um, 1700s, they would come by stagecoach. Hey, everybody has to get off the stage. We bring them into a room, we give them an introduction on what it was like in the 1700s. And then we bring them into a different part of the tavern. We demonstrate activities that they do. We teach them what it was like to write a letter in the 1700s. Not only children, but adults learn more or learn best when they can experience something, when they have a hands-on experience. So it's so much more valid when they can live it and they can see it. It's just so much more authentic than sitting down in the classroom and you know just reading about it in a book. We teach them about tavern sign, how most people did not read or write. It was really fun um, getting the paint on it and just plopping it down, doing your own design. We teach them about lighting, what they use for lights, candles. They get to make candles. We teach them about portraits of themselves and we do a silhouette. So I think they learn from this program that it wasn't an easy time for people in 1700s. We've been coming since I started teaching at William Sydney, and um, that's about 13 years ago. And the reason why we come here is because it so closely matches the fourth grade curriculum. We teach about the colonial times and the Revolutionary War in the 17th and 1800s. The experience was good because I learned a lot of new stuff that I didn't know. I learned how to make candles. I learned that the British soldiers would eat first, then the adults, then the kids. The um, physical activities because we got to like make clay to fit the um, the candles and we got to get our shadow portrait taken um, by the um, guide tracing us. What it does is it matches what they're learning about in the classroom and it, it just brings what the teachers are teaching to life for them and it helps them kind of identify with what life was like back then and um, you know what their daily lives were like and how it's so different from how we live today. I think I'd probably like it um, because they have a lot of fun games and I like sewing and stuff and planting and playing with animals. I wouldn't like it. I'd rather live here because um, there's more things invented. They had to do things different and because they don't have like all technology and anything and, and they don't have like a lot of games. I would not like to live in the time period because everything was a lot harder. 
I love to see their faces when they go, oh, and they're excited that that's how people used to do it. You know, there are some things that they could still do today. So, you know, they can go outside and they can just play. They don't have to have all this electronic stuff to keep them occupied. And I think it's nice for them to come and see that. Because it's such a, a good quality program and it's so close by, it's such an incredible resource that, you know, it'd just be a shame to not utilize it. I hope you enjoyed our journey into the past and this look at the historic Ephanita Smith Tavern. Join me next time for more about Smithtown's fascinating history. For Historic Smithtown, I'm Brad Harris. Thank you for watching.